Hi there, this is Fishbus, and in this video, I'm creating a poster for my map in Team Fortress 2. Right now, I am installing VTF Edit, which is a program used to open textures used in the Source Engine. This is the knife back poster that I made for CP Steel, which I will use as a template of creating a new one. I extracted this poster from the TF2 source files using GCFscape. You can get GCFscape and VTF Edit from NEMS Tools website. I then open up Inkscape, which is a program that I'd like to use when making these posters. Inkscape is a vector program, unlike Photoshop, which is a bitmap editor. The great thing about using vector images is that you can scale them to an infinite size and they still retain their quality. I've just searched Google for a quick image of some glue, which I'll use as a base for the poster. Making vector images is actually very useful since it tends to mimic the TF2 art style very well. So I always recommend using a vector program to create the images and then do some post-production using Photoshop. The server that I'm creating a poster for is the Necrofix server which helped me test the map out. So I've come up with the idea of creating Necrofix glue. I love the play on words, I'm sure you will agree. I'm just messing around here to make sure I have something that looks legitimately like a real company. Or product. Now I'm just messing about with some of the layout and the colours and just getting a general feel for the poster. Now I google for the word fix because I wasn't quite sure what it meant. I did think it meant like a fix in an industrial sealant. When I started googling I found out that it was more appropriate to use the word fix and to fix your hair and most of the results ended up being for hair care products so I passed on that. So I have a basic idea of what I want from the poster and I have a basic layout. What I want to do now is to quickly save it. It's a PNG, it's got alpha layer and I've got it 512 by 512 and it'd be nice to get it in the level right now and just see what it's like. I get it in the level and it's working for the most part but it's missing something. It's missing a VMT. Now a VMT is a material file which is essentially just a text file and it has a lot of markers telling what kind of texture this is. Now important features of this texture is that it's an overlay and it draws over other textures and basically looks like a poster. So, after a bit of searching, I find it online and I copy and paste it into the VMT file. Not after first creating a new VMT file which will be associated with my texture. Now that's all that's left to do is to actually create a poster that I'm happy with. Enjoy! <laughs>
Hooray, something that I'm happy with. Now I just gotta go into Photoshop. Because now everything can be done in Inkscape, no matter how good I think it is. So the last little bits that I do with the poster is to just create that little rough feeling. And you usually have to use that using overlays and a little bit of a brush tool. And it really just helps it just kick it into the final point where you can start using it in your level. And it starts to make it look like an actual worn down poster inside the game's universe. And we're done! Looks great, don't you think? Remember, if you like this sort of crap, like and subscribe. Like and subscribe. More.